This week on the Hoover Boys. This place is a Civil War button factory. All I heard was big button. Big fat button, I think is what I said. Big old fat one? Yeah. It looks like a two-piece button. The buttons are all over the place here. Look at this rescue. Oh my god, that's a different one. Yeah, flops. Another button. Is it a different button or the same kind? Another different one? Yeah, yeah buddy. I think there'd be more bullets here. I think silver comes up a different color here. Are you kidding me? It looks tiny. Uh you did not do what I think you did. Oh my god! It's November 15th, 2015. And believe it or not, we're not on public land today. This is a private property, private permission. Our friend Terry from our club, the Maryland Free State Treasure Club, obtained permission from the, the landowner and uh, invited Brad and myself down here. This town was founded in 1649. Yeah, I said 16. So uh, who knows how long people have been here and who knows who's crossed this land in the last 380 years. We do know that there was a Civil War encampment not too far away so maybe they cross paths terry was here yesterday and dug her first three ringer beautiful little looks to be fired three ringer hope we get on more of those today congratulations to you terry but the house and the property is at least 150 years old we're not going to show that to protect the landowner's privacy though i've already taken a culture and here's the ground conditions nothing too special here i just want to show the soil conditions it's nice and sandy and uh, this is just a shotgun shell, but look how nice it came out of the ground. It's gorgeous. So hopefully there's any coins around there in good shape. That is just phenomenal. I have found a memorial and a couple pieces of trash so far. So all is well. Let's go have some fun. I had you hung up from this tree here to do the intro. Five feet away from that tree, 82-83 signal. That sounds tasty. Some odd shaped, shiny looking thing. It has fancy. What is that? Is that silver? That looks silver to me. I think I got silver, buddy. I don't know what it is, but it looks like silver and it rang up like silver. It has fancy. What? Look. What do you think? Silver? I think it's AG. It's old. It could be coin silver. Scratch is pretty easy. I like the way you talk to me. Yeah, I try. Let me give it a little uh, clean up job and take a closer look. It's ancient. It's ancient! <laughs> well, here's the back of it. All the fancies on this side. It is fancy too. There's no hallmarks. It has been broken, so hopefully there's more of it around. That's gorgeous. There's no doubt in my mind that's not silver. It's even heavy like silver, rang up like silver. And it looks like silver. Fantastic. Start the day with some shiny. That's what I'm talking about. Just got done talking to the landowner. Super nice people. So awesome. But uh, she told us this area I'm working in right now used to be the old garden. And she didn't lie. That's a uh, planter tag. I found the white knight. So we're digging in the garden. Now we know. There's Brad. If that's not a beautiful view, I don't know what is. Ugh. So Brad's working the hillside. I'm starting up top and I'm gonna work my way down. Got a mid 70s signal, nice, tight, and deep. And I just took a peek at it and I saw a little shank. I popped it up from down in there. She's right there. Yes, sir. 
That is a Bhutan. I see back mark. And I see something on it. Oh, that looks navy. It looks like an eagle and anchor. It's a little cuff button. Yeah, buddy. Relic. Let me get some dirt off. We'll take a close up. Well, look at all that gold gilt left on it. I'm definitely going to take this one home and clean it up some more for you guys. But there's a back mark. I can't see what it is now. And there's gold gilt fancy on this side, too. That is a little cuff button. And I'd say that is Civil War era. And it's a Navy button. Eagle on anchor. That's amazing. That proves they were here. So hopefully there's more relics around. I'll get this thing cleaned up with a little lemon juice and show it to you right now. I'd say that cleaned up quite nice. All I did was use a little lemon juice and a soft brush. Some people use CLR or aluminum jelly. But the lemon juice uh, has worked very good for me with gold gilted buttons. That is amazing and I couldn't be happier with it. Oh yeah, look at all that gilt. You see my button? Of course I got a box plate in here. That big of a signal, huh? Yeah, buddy. No, that, you know what? That's a lantern. It is a lantern Oil part. Lantern. Check out this button. What? It's got gold gilt all over it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> you see any back marks or anything? Oh, it's on there, yeah. Okay, good job. I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> this is a spot, man. We're going to get on it. <laughs> What's going on over here? I didn't hit it. It looks like I hit it, but I didn't. It's bent out of the ground. Second spoon to come out of here with this mark on it. Is it silver? No, it's plate right there. But before, we could only read mess on Terry's spoon. Now Terry. we see it says midshipman's mess. Hello. Which is cool. And let's see, silver plate. You know, it's not going to be 1800s, but it's still going to be, you know, early 20th century. That's a nice silver plate, though. Yeah, it's pretty. They never come out this pretty silver plate. It's that sandy soil. Yeah. So, so that is a cool find. So is that the same spoon Terry found yesterday? Uh, yeah, it is. Very nice. Now we get to tell her what she found. Good job. It's pretty thin, man. Pulled it out of the sidewall at a 45 degree angle. Hello. I'm falling. I was thinking. Put it in the sun a little bit? Three center for a second, but I think it's a flatty. It's thin. Really thin. It's old. Oh, it's old as heck. Yeah, it looks like a flatty. That's a flat button right there. That's a great sign. Shanker. You got a little shanker? Yeah, tiny. That's an old one, though. That's a really old, tiny flat button. Yeah, buddy. Good job. So, the top of this hillside, so far, we got that navy button. I found a lead pewter spoon handle. He got the silver plated one. He's got a harmonica reed, flat button, the oil part lamp, the oil part lamp. Oil part lamp? Let's try that again. Oil lamp part. What else? Camp lead. So this is looking really promising. What do we have now? Well, it's more lead. I already cleaned up the hole because I wasn't completely sure what it was. I, I mean, the, the back looks suspect. Looks like the, the end of a bullet. Absolutely. And then we looked at it a little bit closer. It looks like you can see some rings. Absolutely, there and dude. There. So and I, it's the right size too. Yeah, I I think it's it's formed this. Maybe it's supposed to be like a you know a token or a game piece or something. That's just it might be a stretch, but it looks it's not fired. It's, it's definitely, definitely not fired. It looks like it was beat on. Yeah, molded or they made something out of it. That is phenomenal. Yeah, man. We are in a good old area. I'm loving it. That's good job. So, two seconds goes by. I hear button, button. Can't stop. Is it a two piece? Yeah. Is it like mine's? Is? It's Eagles. It's yeah. the same one as mine. Yeah. There's a tiny little bit of guilt right there. There's right? tons of guilt on that thing. It's just dirty. Yeah. Lovely two piece. Man, they're coming out clean here. <sighs> oh. Oh, you go, I go. You go, I go. <laughs> All right, my turn. Okay, See ya. Later. I wish it was my turn, but Brad was killing it. All I heard was big button. Big fat button, I think is what I said. Big old fat one? Yeah. Where are we at? Is it two-piece? Yeah. Oh, wow. What do we got on here? Oh, it's the same thing. It's just it's just the coat size. Think so? Yeah, eagle and anchor. I can see it already, I think. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now she's facing up. I'm gonna give it a little brush. Oh my god. Oh, nothing. No shanker. Back. No shank. Get a close up. 
So this one's in nowhere near the condition as the other two, the smaller ones. But it is the same design, Eagle and Anchor, Navy. We're presuming Civil War it's got to be. That's uh, a little crusty, but that's fantastic. We need to get more private permissions. Oh. I like this. <laughs> I don't hear this come out of Brad's mouth too often. He just said, whoa. I took a couple chops into the middle of the hole, flipped it over in my hand like that. Bring it up. I know. Let's dip that in the shade, actually. Look at this rescue. Oh my god, that's a different one. Is it? I see an anchor, but it's a different anchor. Oh my god. Oh. No, it's the same. Look at the guilt. Look at the guilt. Oh, that just doesn't happen. It's so incredibly shiny. A little tiny green spot there coming through. You have shank? Oh, you do have shank. <laughs> oh, we gotta get a close up of that. Well, there's the back. You ready for the front? Oh my god. I haven't seen this design, so I'm not sure too much about it. That is phenomenal out of the ground looking like that though. Oh my god. Be gentle with that one. That's gorgeous. Whoa is right. Whoa. I gotta see what period the stuff is coming up from. So I, I usually go to eBay and I try to see what's moving and what isn't and I, I finally found it. That, that's it right there. That is it. 1830s to 1840s per this user. Now of course we gotta do some more, you know, sleuthing around but you know, $50 button. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's gorgeous. I don't sell these finds but I just like to know. They might even go to the landowner. We'll find her some nice buttons. That's awesome. If you guys have seen episode two, you probably already know this story. But the reason my machine has the name Hoover, I was at the local park one day and uh, a guy from my club was there and he was using a brand new XP Deus. And uh, he wanted to beep a couple of my deep signals to see if he was working. Long story short, he couldn't find a few of the deep, deep signals I could find. Uh, they were all 10, 12 inch targets. so. He named my machine Hoover. Ever since that day, I've been infatuated with the XP Deus, curious if it was operator error or Hoover is just that much deeper of a machine. So, a deal came up and I jumped on it. Fred Geely. It must be Italian. It's not Italian, it's actually French. Here it is. I took it out two days ago just to try it out. This is what happened. I just found my first coin with the XP Deus. We're at a nice old spot. Let's see what it is. Right there. Got a little coin ball. The first coin with the XP Deus is... Is that a fatty? It might be a fatty. Or a flying eagle. That would be some crazy you know what. I don't know. I think it might be a fatty though. Let me get some dirt off of there. That'd be crazy if that was a flying eagle. Yeah, it is definitely a fatty or a flying eagle. You can see the one set in the old wreath. And I do not think I see a shield. Which means it's a first year fatty or a flying eagle. That would be crazy. Alright, let me get some of that dirt off. I'm really excited. This coin was definitely lost in pretty good shape, but unfortunately this site's really rough on anything that has nickel in it. And you know the fatties have 12% uh, nickel. As you can see, at the top of the wreath there, there is no shield. So it's either a first year fatty or a flying eagle. And it is a flying eagle set. My second this year, my third ever, and the first coin with the XP Deus is a flying eagle. I don't see much of anything for a date coming through, but I don't care. That's freaking awesome! <laughs> fly like an eagle! First coin with the XP Deus is a flying eagle. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man. And this is the first time I'm detecting with my uh, new Stealth Digger shirt. This is the uh, one with the spoon on the back, the, the brown one. Flying eagle scent. First day with the XP Deus. First coin with the XP Deus, rare coin, XP Deus.
<laughs> you know how many iron nails I had to dig before I found this? A lot. I think we're gonna be friends. We're gonna be friends. What do you think? So that's the first and only coin I found with the machine. Let's see if we can find any relics. There's a lot of iron here, so I'm hoping the quick recovery speed of this machine will help pull them out. Let's go. Well, that didn't take long. Literally just ground bound, started swinging, got a signal. First relic with the XP Deus is a big old flat button. That's a dandy. Heck, yeah. I don't believe there's anything on it. I'm hoping for a chicken hawk, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Nothing on it, but I'm not gonna call it just a button. That's a dandy. And uh, Brad and I have a little gentleman's bet going on. I texted him last night and I was like, 20 bucks for a real. And then he texts me back, deal. And then this morning, he goes, 10 bucks for a seated. Deal. So just in case those coins come up today, you know why we'll be so excited. Besides their old silver coins. Awesome. Looks like a mule shoe. A little tiny baby one. Pretty cool. <sighs> just popped a bucket lister. I'm happy. Right there. It's a little complete Constoga bell. That is amazing. It's gorgeous. Oh, the little dinglers rusted off. It's probably in that clump. These always have little iron dinglers in them. Oh, but that's a gorgeous relic. I've never found one. Oh, man. Beautiful little Constoga bell. I've been wanting that one for a long time. Still waiting on my crotal bell, but that means they might be close. Check it out, what do you think? I think you don't have a spearhead. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Constoga bell. Constoga bell. Yeah. Now you know. Old school. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Sweet. All right, guys. Later. See you, buddy. <laughs> Making my way over to B-Rad. What you got, buddy? I don't know, maybe six or seven inches. Another little eagle. Oh, it's an eagle. Yeah. Is, is it an eagle anchor? Uh, I don't think so. That's a tiny little two-piece. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's got a little gill on the right side. It's going be a little brush and we'll do a close-up. So we do have shank, but the back's a little chewy. Check out the front. That is gorgeous. Another navy button, but this one's smaller than the other ones. Oh, man. Yeah. Killing it, brother. Big, 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 big. Killing it. You dropped it. It's what gone. It's gone forever. <laughs> Good dig. We're going to take a little break and uh, going to open a package. This was actually something I bought from uh, my buddy Brantley Rowland. Him and his father run a coin shop called BNR Coin Shop on Facebook. Awesome deals on coins, but this package is a little heavier than what I ordered. Let's see what he sent. Oh, there's a note. Keep on your notes. Oh, wow, it's heavy. There's something for all of us, dude. Get out. <laughs> Happy 2K. Remember the trifecta I gave you before? Well, let's make it a quadfectus. I didn't order anything. Um, well, this is what I ordered. Here's yours. Oops. I'm going to get in there. Job in the arrowhead and the capped bust dime. Jeez. So this is what I ordered. So look, I got Spanish silver today, so you owe me twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you timed that perfectly. Oh. Eighteen oh eight. I forget if that's a two or a, yep. that's a four. That's yep. a four real. We're gonna weigh it and make sure it's legit. And if it doesn't come out right, uh, you're out of the club. Oh whoa, shield nickel. <laughs> we got a little stray in there too. Oh my God, dude, look. <laughs> oh, busted. Cat bust dime. They're big. Look at that big pack of things. Oh, man. Let me put this knife away before I cut it in half. Cedar. Oh, you got cedar. I owe you $10. That's right. <laughs> You're going to come out on top by $10. Then. Oh, yeah. my God, dude. 20, 20 bucks for Spanish, 10 bucks for cedar. Yeah, I got Warnick, and I got 1891 partial lib. 
Beautiful. Thank oh my you. Oh god. Thank you. So this is what I ordered. Super cheap and I absolutely love it. Send me a cat bus dime. A shield nickel. Sent Brad a war nick and a seated dime. That's incredible. So shout out to BNR Coin Shop on Facebook. Eat your lunch, Brantley, and your father too. The wrap is bigger than mine. Mmm. Sure. I'm absolutely blown away, Brantley. You did not have to do that. He's he sent me coins in the past. Um, and there's two more packages for Bill and Leo, so we'll meet up with them and we'll open those packages. All right, see what you got. Hey, Bill, read yours first. I'm trying to read what that says though. I can't see it on the dark. I'm sorry, I can't really read it in the dark. And you're gonna drive two, two a fire and a engine, I <laughs> Thanks for showing up for two and a half episodes, Bill. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's That's see what you awesome. got. That's awesome. Mercury done. You got Merc? Yeah. You scored cool. silver. Sweet. Sweet. It's been a while. It's been a long while. It has been a while. <laughs> fist bump on that. Give me the Eddie fist bump. There you go. I got my Eddie stash. The Eddie stash. <laughs> See what you got, kid. It says, Happy 2K Lincoln Leo. Enough Lincolns. Enjoy these. Happy 2K, buddy. Brantley. Oh, there's two. Oh, you gotta see the corner? What, what is this? What is this? What is this? Well, I guess if I can't find one out in the field, thanks. Well, Bill's got a seated quarter. Jesus. You got a seated quarter? Yep. Is it a 77? Yeah, it's 1877 and oh, wow. 1903. Ah. That, Dude, is, that is that awesome. Is awesome. That is so cool. That's, a, that's my first one ever. You, you don't have one in your coin <laughs> I didn't even dig it. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, what do you, you say Brantley. to Brantley? Thank you. That's that's amazing. Thank can't, you. I don't know. Thank you. Words can't even describe it. That's awesome. Thank you, Thank you buddy. You're the best. Wow. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. It don't, it don't Look at that smile. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. You guys are so nice to us. Thank you. Thank you. Brad says thank you. Working in the ironer next to the house. Got a high tone. It looks like a two-piece button buttons are all over the place here it's definitely see some guilt no shank Let's see what this one is well I can make out the back mark on this one you see waterberry there and this one's a little different than the other ones it is eagle and anchor but the eagle has spread wings so it's a little smashed in but that's another awesome button with beautiful guilt on it this button didn't clean up as good as that other one, but I did see some guilt on it, so I gave it a little lemon juice. Shined up quite nicely. I'll take it. It's beautiful. This place is a button factory. That is awesome. Oh, wow. Brad just said what I wanted him to say. Yeah, look at that guy. And this weird stuff, it's sandy and... Oh, it's gorgeous. It's nice, right? Beautiful drop three right here. Oh man. Right up tight to the house here. Yep, we're right in the backyard now. Man. Oh, no, donk. It's on. <laughs> it's on. Brad's looking in his hand and walking this way. It's gotta be something good. I think uh I think silver comes up a different color here. Are you kidding me? It looks tiny. I you did not do what I think you did. I I I don't think it's a half real. It's a, it's a half real or it's a trime. That's that's what I'm. Are thinking. you freaking kidding me? I think so, man. It looks trime size. See the edge. Um, this only means one thing. <laughs> Whip it out. I think it's Spanish. Are you kidding me? I need to owe you twenty bucks. I think it's a half real. Well, it's definitely some sort of silver coin, but there's absolutely nothing on it on either side. It's slick as can be. So, the jury's still out. <laughs> it's either a trime or maybe a half real Spanish silver, but it's it, it's awesome. Yeah, man. Uh, good job. <laughs> Somebody did it. I, it's like I almost want to make a star out of it. But Just give me I, something. I need to know. He's going to measure it up against uh, both of the coins because he has both of them. And we'll see which one it lines up to. Okay, the coin on the bottom is today's dig. 
half real on the left, half dime, seated half dime on top, and a trime on the right. All dug coins. So we're going to put the coin from today on top of each other coin and see which one it lines up with. It's got to be one of these coins. Let's put it on the half real first. Possibly just very worn, could be a half real. Not a trime. That's got to be it. It's really thin, though. That's it. Half dime. So thin. Maybe a bust half dime. There's nothing on it. Who knows? It's real thin. It's so, thin. so thin. How deep? Uh, six inches. Wow. You're, the, you're an animal. That's, Hello. That was 15 minutes before that. What's that? It's got an eagle and a rabbit on it. Because <laughs> sometimes you need a button with an eagle and a rabbit on it. Which way does it go? Oh, uh, just like that? Uh, yeah. It's probably a... Uh, I think it's an eagle. Or just a bird. Like a gamer's button. It's old. It is old. Yeah. Sexy. Nice. Oh, nice. Did you just say the Hoover Boy special? Yeah, I don't know, man. Something about IHP. I mean, I, I'm not saying it was at the bottom of that, <laughs> but it was like right there. So, so every bit at 9, 10? It's like that deep. Okay, well then 11. No, Where are we at? We're right there. Look at it. Get it out of there. Yep, that's ending. Oh, it's a fatty. It is a fatty. Yeah, it's a fatty. That's a work. <coughs> you know, pluck it? Yeah. A little extract. Must be a nice shape. That yeah, thick rim. That's yeah, fatty. Mm. One cent. Eighteen sixty-four. So that could be a war coin. It's beautiful shape for a fatty. That's for damn sure. Last year fatty. Long time no fatty. Good job, buddy. Thanks. I got a fatty now. <laughs> I bet you do. We both have fatties. Oh. <laughs> it's that time of the hunt. Yeah, we're getting tired and goofy. Guess we don't need those right now. Um, working down here by the water and uh, got a nice hit. Pulled a little piece of iron out. I'm like, that can't be it. It wasn't. We got another button. Yeah, buddy. I think there'd be more bullets here. It does have a shank. And we don't have one of these yet today. Looks like a general service. I don't see a letter on the shield awesome we have another waterbury back mark you got a it's a waterbury and there you have it beautiful little eagle cuff that's awesome it's not a cuff i don't know why i said that i'd say it's more of a coat button size that's awesome oh man i love this place let's pull this out it's lead looks like it was smashed thin and maybe folded over could have been a poker chip or something like that at some time. I don't know. It was definitely uh, made to be flat. Interesting. I was working my way back to the truck to get something to drink. Believe it or not, Brad has another button. Is it a different button or the same kind? Different. Another different one? Yeah. Oh, that's a staff officer. That might be a New York button. It's got a cool shield on it. Yeah, should have an eagle over top of the shield. I think it's a New York Excelsior, but we'll do a little uh, brush work. We didn't brush up the back too much, but there's a, uh, a shank. And it is a New York Excelsior button. This is Excelsior right there underneath the shield. Shield and eagle. There's another different button from the day. Awesome. And that uh, raised uh, around the edges like that. Uh, staff officer button. It's fantastic. You, sir, are killing it. Another period button. Good job, buddy. Damn. Well, I switched back over to Hoover. 
needed to let her know I loved her. I probably would have never heard this signal with any other machine. Tiny and deep. Really deep. It was just a tiny peep. It's something round. And I'm almost to my elbow. What is that? It looks like the lady on a $1 gold coin. Brad! Come check this out. What the crap is that? Let me clean it up. Holy moly. Maybe it's one of those Civil War tokens or something. Whoa. If you don't know what that is, that is a Civil War token. And that is a huge bucket lister for me. It says Union Forever in 1861. It has a shield on the back. That is gorgeous. I don't even know what to say. I'm just super happy right now. That is amazing. What a beautiful piece of history right there to go along with all the other beautiful relics that have come out of this property. This place is amazing. Thank you, Terry. The only thing I haven't found today that I really want to find is the Civil War bullet. It's been a long time. Terry just walked over to me and handed me this. It appears to be a 52 caliber Sharps carbine. Oh, it's definitely fired. That is awesome. Brad has one or two, and I have zero. But I'm not done yet. Let's go find something. Hoover did it again. Mid-high 70 signal. Not terribly deep, maybe four or five inches. And right there, out flops another button. This looks like the Eagle Anchor. A little smashed in. Definitely is not the nicest button today, but does have a nice little shank. And it is another Civil War Eagle Anchor button. Navy. Unbelievable. This place is a Civil War button factory. Wow. It's getting late, but I'm not leaving to kick me out. <laughs> From sun up to sundown, we had an amazing day. Let's go over all this stuff. Let's start with you, Brad. Sure. <laughs> Did you dig any targets today? No, I, I, I spent most of the time just sweeping. I wasn't on my hands and knees too much today. <laughs> Good lord. See. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Just, that's just, some yummy yeah. trash. Yeah, that's that's what you call a deep purge right there. All right. You got some goods? Yeah, so your, your farm crap. I got your, uh, your oil lamp stuff. I got a lipstick. Got some fancy. What that is handle or something. You dug some coinage. I ain't getting nowhere near as much coinage. Weedages. Those are all weeds? I got weeds. one. <laughs> Dude. That's clad. Clad. Yep. Cool little bottle. Yeah. Got two engines. Um, two engines. 1899 and one fatty, 1864. Beautiful. No date buff. And that came about 20 feet from the buff. Yeah, that little mystery silver something. Yeah, it's old. It is old. Modern. Lots of moderns. And knife. Got some pewter. 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 Silver plate. Harmonica reed Harmonica parts. Reeds. These are cool. Yeah. These are two uh, confirmed pieces of Civil War lead. That's awesome. And uh, up here? Yeah, I got a, I got a Bessie. You got a Moo? got a lead Bessie. And a little fence for her. Nice. <laughs> Is that a bale seal? That's a bale seal. It's got a U on one side, H on the other. Very nice. Flatty. My only flatty. Then we'll talk about your buttons, I guess. Yeah, what do we got here? They're all uh, naval, anchor, eagle, various time frames. That being the oldest one and the most beautiful one. And then you got the Excelsior button. Yeah, nice shield on that. And then a, kind of a what's it? It's got a rabbit and a bird. And it's it's an oldie. You but killed it. That's getting after it right there. Nice. <laughs> Brings me over to my tailgate. I dug a few targets myself. <laughs> um. I left all my spalls in there. We've got horseshoes, we've got mule shoes, we got spoons, we got spoon handles. And that's a little one. This one's lead pewter. We've got some oldies in there. A whole bunch of shotgun shells and evil ones. This thing about gave me a heart attack. I don't even know what it is. I got part of a harmonica reed. Looks like the back part of a skeleton key. Yeah, that's Civil War. That's a, that's one of the latch. Isn't that like the other half of a? 
knapsack hook or something? I don't know. I'll keep it just in case. Yeah, look that up. I'm pretty sure that's period. Here's my Civil War artifacts book. And, of course, Brad was right. And I should have known this. It's right there. Piece of a knapsack hook. Because I've been uh, wanting to find a J-hook for a long time. It's been on the bucket list. Never throw out your trash till you know what it is. Civil War relic. Awesome. Uh, a little bit of clad. Here's my one. <clears throat> um, some weird pin thing. It has some pet and pendant thing on the back. Tiny little... What do you call those things? Thimble. Thimbles. Uh, some sort of dog license tag. Two big old flatties. Dandy buttons. Those are my Civil War buttons for the day. I got two navies. I believe this one here is another navy. It's a droopy wing. Don't know the age on that yet. And uh, one general service. My two bucket listers. We got my first Constoga bell. The dingler's rotting off of it. And a, my find of the day. And bucket lister. Civil War token. The find of the day as far as I'm concerned. 1861 in phenomenal condition. Another day complete, cleaning up the ground, digging it all, and taking our trash with us. See ya! So the reason why you didn't see much of uh, Terry is because she didn't want to be on camera. So she did have a really nice day herself. She got that three ring Civil War bullet yesterday. She got that uh, 52 caliber carbine today. She got a fatty Indian and she also got a Eagle and uh, anchor Navy button. So she had a great day herself. Um, <sighs> thank you, Terry. It was an absolute pleasure back there today and I got a medic unit coming up behind me gotta go I'm sure you guys can hear that airplane I hate that hi VDI's tiny little peep really tight and deep just pop the plug let's pop it live nice pinpoint right there good that's a coin ball, come on. Come on, baby. Oh. What is that? You're bazing good. Is that a clad quarter? Yeah, you're cladded. <laughs> I just got clad quartered. 65, right? <laughs> how does it feel, son? How does it feel? Tell me how it feels. <laughs> it is an 89. Well, that only means you're about to dig, what, two or three Indians? That's what happens? I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> We're in the garden, so it could have been turned over. That's worth a fist. Good job, man. I'm just turning on just to jinx them. Uh, hey, it's pretty dark soil down there. <laughs> Here's your rusty piece of junk. Ouch. <laughs> Thank you, Kurt Jinx. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> It's a four real. We're gonna weigh it and make sure it's legit, and if it doesn't come out right, uh, you're out of the club. The Hoover Boys are serious when it comes to the rules and laws of digging. We value the historical significance of our finds and wish to preserve the hobby for future generations. We are not serious when it comes to ourselves. We like to have fun and enjoy the friendships we've made out detecting. Thank you for watching and supporting what we do. Cheers.